hope this is the very first time What well, is uh, the Greek, Greek mythology? I would say, I wouldn't say it's necessarily in the human medicine, but it's pretty much related to Western civilization. And of course, when we talk about civilization, it's something to do with uh, sort of medicine as well, it says to do with the uh, human body. So, Um, this is a photo that I took from Bogi 
Yes, yeah, we, we check the uh, we check this part of the mythology. Okay, look, you maybe you are right, but anyway, you have to you probably have to know there are a lot of different versions of Greek mythology. There are a lot of different versions. All right, so some of the some of the versions, of course, we nowadays we there is a more oh, I wouldn't say like. A, a great version, but still there are some different kinds of versions. So this is this is this is a picture of golden. Alright, so the blood, if it was taken from the right side of golden, they're just like what um and he said he was able to bring the dead back to life. So this is the Asclepius rock and then he was given a then I gave him a potion made from the blood of golden. So otherwise, just like what NT said, it was a deadly poison. So what is the main characteristic of Asclepius? It's a physician's rod with a snake, only one snake, all right, wrapped around it, okay, and which survived, survived to today as the symbol of medical profession. And just now, you got a, another some uh, your classmates. There's another suggestion. It might be the Emerus rod, and which is true as well. Okay, and this rod is caduceus. All right, this is two serpents. All right, entwined by two serpents, surmounted by reeds, and it was first owned by Iris, the messenger of Hera, and later on, later on by Amos, by Hermes, and the messenger of the gods when superseded Iris is much later Greece. So again, as I said, there are a lot of mythology things. So in some other mythologies, they got Greek mythology, so the goddess class, they got different name as well. So this one is the later means. It was actually uh, carried by Hermes. Okay, so this is Hermes. Right, and then the differentiation later on, I will show you psyche, not psyche, eras. Eras is so called Jupiter, Cupid. We saw the Chobita, all right? So you will see the differences. Okay, this is two wings, and then they got two wings here. As he, he's got two wings here as well. Whereas Cupid only got two wings here. So this one is held by. Hermes. In French, it's named, it's, it's pronounced Amos. So Amos is now a, a very famous brand for uh, luxury stuff, for bags. So in, in Chinese name, what's the Chinese name for this brand? In Chinese name, we call it Ai Ma Si. Ai Ma Si? It's very expensive, luxury thing. So this is now today is used as the name of, uh, of a very luxury brand. Okay, so again, why is there is a confusion? Confusion between one serpent and two serpents. And partly uh Gigi I think a quite a close Correct answer. All right. The Confucius is sometimes used as a symbol for medicine, especially in North America. In other words, in the United States. All right. No confusion with the traditional medical symbol, the rod of Asclepius. So, the rod of Asclepius, from its meaning, from its origin, is more correct. So attempts have been made to argue if which one, the Caduceus, or the or is appropriate as a symbol of medicine because look, if Ms is the messenger for the underworld, it's not so good to be a symbol, right? You're supposed your job in the future is supposed to bring the 
well, of course it's difficult, but bring the sick people of the sickness back to a healthy one. So, why? Why do we have this two confusion? All right? If, according to a survey, they, they did a serious survey. This is the percentage of health organization who use two different symbols. Okay, if you're interested in I I have also uh, done the articles in here, so you can check yourself. So if you look at look, look at these all health organizations, for example, the Association of American Medical Colleges, double AMC, just one servant. Can you a hospital, one servant. But if you look at here, the US Army Medical Corps, two servants. So if you look at all the medical schools, all hospitals, mostly one serpent. But if you look at, you know, like military or cops, it's like what GT say, it's two serpents. Or if you look at some commercial organization related to health, it got two serpents as well. So the true story, GC said it was people think that one serpent is too lonely, so they put another serpent. Is there any other story? But it doesn't be safe. They thought it's supposed to be two serpents, right? Now the people thought that it was one serpent is too lonely. Is that maybe the reason probably behind? So what is the true story? Anybody knows? Again, if you try to guess the tab and answer, anybody know what is, what the true story is? Come on. What's the true story is? Uh, yes. He said it was a mistake. It was a mistake. But what kind of mistake? Well, this is um, people they actually did a study. The true story is the double, double circle one. It's a modern origin. It's the printer's mark of a popular 19th century medical publisher. Okay. Actually, it's not the ancient producers of Hermes. In other words, the Hermes one was not really the origin. People thought, well, it got to certain maybe because it's the rod of Hermes. But actually, it was not. It was a mistake. It was the printer's mark. In other words, they probably print the serpents and they fold it, and then you, and then you can two serpents. You understand what I mean? So it was actually a mistake. And nowadays, um, it was it became a popular medical symbol only after its adoption by the U.S. Army Medical Corps at the beginning of the 20th century. So this is the, the first one. Not the first one, the very first one, which uses two serpents. So, which one is more correct? The audience, right? We all like to bring people from death to back to life. And this why certain rod got the symbolic meaning? Because it's the rod held by God of medicine. So from now on, if people ask you why it's one serpent, not two serpents, or why it got you know, like one serpent around the rod, you'll be able to tell the story. All right? So we probably don't know about the one serpent thing. We probably don't know that's actually a a, a sort of the mythology related story about this rod. So, look at this one. Antlers. Alright, if you look at the photos here, what is he doing? What is he doing? Come on, what is he doing? He is carrying a Earth. Why is carrying her earth? Why is carrying her earth? All right. Do you know? Do you know a little bit about the Greek mythology? Because we only got two hours, we cannot tell you the whole story. Because that's probably one semester. <laughs> All right. But pretty much, like if you uh, pay attention to this uh, class, you probably get some ideas. At the beginning of um, the Greek mythology, it was a big chaos. All right. The, the, the son might marry the mother, or the, the son might, might hear the parents, 
so you know it's very chaotic. But anyway, you know, you know the Titans, right? The Titans was were, were the, the songs of um, the first the mother of earth, the mother of earth and the father of the sky. You don't need to remember the names. Okay, but just remember remember the father of the sky and the mother of earth. But anyway, there was a big the uh, battle among titans. So anyway, it was a rebellion against Zeus. Do you know who Zeus is? Zeus, Zeus, okay, and Zeus, Zeus, the king of gods. He was coming to build the heavens upon his shoulders. So he was also said to have been appointed the guardian of the pillars which the earth and the sky. So he, he was a punishment. He was a very happy burden, although he was carrying the heavens. So, if you look at the positions here, in our days, because he was he was carrying, carrying the whole world. So, we should the gospel of the people, the people, So, this is where the word Atlas is found. So, even when we're talking about human body, we say, Human atelases. And this is human atelases. Means the whole picture. But of course, like if we're talking about the road, but before when we when we didn't have Google Maps, we can know Google Maps. Atlas of Britain, Atlas of the United States, Atlas of California. All right, so this is human atlas. And this is what you are going to learn for the rest of your studies. Probably not only in the second year, but in your preclinical years. And this part, okay, is called atlas as well. This is cervical vertebra. Right? So this is from the atlas of the name. Uh, this, this particular bone is named atlas as well. So now we are going to step into all the great mythology and medical and psychiatric terminology. Just now, just telling you, telling you the beginning, some of the medical symbols, and the beginning of great mythology. And then nowadays, many terms in modern uh, psychiatry, medicine, and related to medicine so originates from Greek mythology. And this is related to, to a lot of, like, for example, gy gynecology, anatomy, um, pharmacology, etc. So, before we step into what we are going to talk about the next stage, anybody knows about the story of the golden epoch? Anybody who wants to tell us the story of Golden Apple? Apple. Ah. It's very, it's a very important event in mythology. You must know. You must have heard about it. Somebody has watched a uh, story, uh, movie, right? Oh, yeah. Did they talk? Did, does they did talk about Golden Apple? That's important event. Tinkingboard you know, you want to try. Get a story right. Okay, I will let you I will let you look at the Okay, so who can tell the story based on this picture? Based on this painting. Yes.
我一直我一直觉得 Harry 是这些很没用的人，其实就是这样的 ，you know because。Well, you know, you probably you will know why I think that he's real. He's the one who put the whole, you know, everybody in the war. Okay, so and then the story, yes. A party and a party for evil governments did be be invited. It's a party for. Gods and goddesses are the most Olympic. Yes, and evil goddess didn't be invited. The evil goddess was not invited. So she brought the golden apple. She brought the golden apple to the party, and they were the most beautiful goddess will get this golden apple. The most beautiful goddess will get the golden apple. All right. So this is the. This is the catchphrase, the most beautiful one. If if you want to cause a war among your female classmates, you will just bring an orange. It does not need it does not even need to be in an apple. I said this orange is for the most beautiful girl in this class. <laughs> All right, hey Jinji, you are very fair. You have to come and then judge who is the most beautiful one. Because they took a sense. Oh, Jin Shi is kind of blind to all the girls. So it's difficult to judge. And every goddess, of course, is the most. She's the most beautiful one. So what is the result? These gentlemen, parents from from the human world, where I was asked to judge who is the most beautiful goddess. All right, so there are three goddesses that say they, she is the most beautiful one. Are you able to, to tell who is who? Okay, look at this one. Who is this goddess? Well, you try to tell, because they got something uh, which will help you to guess which goddess she is. So which, which one? Look at, look, at, look at here. It's probably a little bit blur, but who is she? Athena. All right. Why Athena? If you look at here, it's like that weapons. It's got some uh, things related to, to military here. Okay. So this is Athena. And how about this one? How about this one? Well, somebody said hero. But if you look at there, is a child here. So, so who? who Judge 
who is the most beautiful goddess. So they start, they started to bribe, right? Bribe, Ji Xi, if you are the one to judge, then you will be bribed. Ji Xi, I will uh, help you. I'll bring lunch to you. I'll bring you breakfast, right? Oh, you have some other things. But here, there are all goddess, Athena. Say, I will give you what? The what? Athena said, a kingdom, what? A kingdom is pretty much hero, hero state, right? Because she's more powerful. And Athena has a tension. So she said, she's a goddess of war. She said, I will give you the most powerful military in the world. And how about Venus, Aphrodite? I give you the most beautiful woman in the world. And how about our Prince Paris chose? What's his choice? You think men would vote for kingdom? You are wrong. She, he chose the most beautiful woman. But at that time, the most beautiful woman was already married to somebody else. So, she got the golden apple, and she needed to give him the most beautiful woman. And that's the start of the Trojan War, because Helen was married to Memonos. And so Helen was taken to Paris. And that, clue, that, that, that caused the Trojan War. And all the great heroes were involved. For example, Agamemnon. For example, Achilles. For example, Odysseus. Odysseus, just the whole life. Iliad and Shen, he floated for ten years. That one Odysseus. All the great, great, great heroes went to war. So this is pretty much the start of everything. Then, again, if you look one of the days if you visited the, the European country, you will see all these like statues. For example, she is the one who got the golden apple, but she must be Venus. So if you like visited the museum or what, and then you saw, you see this, you know, she is a Venus, and then you probably uh, need to tell whether there are some other things to help you to understand uh, which goddess is this. So, the one who had to go to the apple, uh, can you tell me about the bank Is there any help? All right, so this is, uh, this is a crazy gallery. This is Trioli, the, uh, the birth of Aphrodite. The birth of Aphrodite. Sorry, I can't really, I have to turn on lights. So if you're interested in all these paintings, I actually upload it to the PowerPoint, to the website, you can take a closer look. And so what is, well, I have, uh, well, this, this is very famous, right? So last year when I was in Rome, in order to see these paintings, because I was running out of time, I spent 40 euros, or no, 20 euros, to go to the Fizzi Gallery in Florence, just in order to look at these paintings. So keep this in mind, one of the days, if you go to Florence, right? If you go to Florence, we call it Fizzi this is a very famous one. This is the birth of Aphrodite in Rome. In the, her Roman name is Venus. So everybody knows the story about Aphrodite. She's a goddess of beauty, daughter of Diana and Jupiter. And she spread Diana and Jupiter to spread. Uh, which is some of the, the Roman names, spread from the fall of the sea at the Cyprus. But he, she, had, uh, she was married to um, Hephaestus, but she had a lot of affairs. In the literature, you can see a lot of Venus, Aphrodite's affairs, your lot of affairs. Okay, so, this is uh, the one in Museum Duluth, 
是罗浮宫哈，以后你们有机会去也是可以去看一下，也是指啊罗浮宫的正馆是吧 ？The first the 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 um the most famous one of the most famous artistic work in in the world, the Venus de Milo. So now, if there is any war spread from Aphrodite, there must be something to do with. Wait. <laughs> you are too straightforward. There must be something to do with love. And love, of course, related to lust. We don't forget that like, Aphrodite herself has a lot of affairs, pretty much about, you know, it's all much about lust. So this is the word stem from Aphrodite, Aphrodisiac, Aphrodite. Well, I put the, because some of the name is really difficult to pronounce, so I'll help you. All right, so what does that mean? What does this word mean? Anybody? Come on. Tell me next. What does this word mean? Then it's Aphrodite, something to do with love, sex. Gigi already say sex. <laughs> anybody? Anybody? Try. Yes. Uh, it, it's something that increases sexual arousal. It's something that would arouse sexual desire. In Chinese, we say something like that. All right, so how about the venereal diseases? All right, venereal diseases, this is, uh, of course, you will see this is from Venus. So if this is something like in um, gynecology, you will probably sometimes see venereal diseases. Again, this is from the Greek goddess, Venus. This is the sexual diseases. All right, you want to take a break so you can finish your breath first. Uh, uh, give your breath for five minutes, okay? And we come back in five minutes time so we can finish. All right, let's go on. We much like ecology to technology, okay? So, we have another thought. There's this. So what does that mean? 
um, Psyche's sisters are also very envious of uh, Psyche's beauty. So they try to tell Psyche, you know, you're, su you're supposed to see who Eris is like. Maybe he is a monster. So Eris, uh, Psyche made a lamp. How do you make a lamp? Now the lamp is the oil. It's dry. Eris woke up. All right, I woke him up. Eris was very angry because he said, if there was no trust, there was no love. So he fled away. And Psyche, well, we'll continue the story, OK? Because <laughs> uh, you're not erotic, right? It's uh, tending to arouse sexual love or desire. And then, how about erotomania? Again, it's something psychological. All right, it's a delusional belief that one is the object of another person's love or sexual desire. Desire. So this is a kind of many again. This is a, a more like a psychiatric uh, problem. So the psyche, psyche in Greek means soul. If ever means love, psyche means soul. And again, just now I tell you a little bit about the story. And she woke up. She woke uh, Eris up because she wanted to see Eris face. And Eris was very angry because he said if there was no love and no trust, there was no love. So he ran away. And then he went along in search of him. And he, she went to Aphrodite, Aphrodite to ask for help. Aphrodite gave her a lot of difficult tasks. Eventually completed all the tasks. Cinderella, mix together and then ask her to differentiate uh, the, the grains of beans. Alright, so he, she eventually completed all the tasks. And Aphrodite was very moved, so Aphrodite allowed her to see Eros. So this is uh, this is the statue in Museum de Louvre. All right, you will see again as I say, you will see their statue. Their painting is almost like everywhere in a lot of museums. So if we talk about nowadays, uh, talk about uh, errors and psyche, that means what? All right. And so from the psyche, we have a lot of words. So how about the branch of medicine that deals with mental, emotional, and behavioral? Behavioral disorders. Everybody tell me what is the word for this? Say everybody, everybody together. Psychology. Psychology, psychology. How about this one? The science of mind and behavior. What, what is the word for the science of mind and behavior? Everybody, please. What is the word? Maybe these two are different. What is the word for the science of mind and behavior? Everybody? Psychology. psychology. This is psychology. And how about this one? Psychiatry. Psychiatry. This is more related to your future career. This is psychology is a science, but this is more clinical. So we say this is a branch of medicine, but this is purely the science, okay? So psychiatry and psychology. All right, and then people say the marriage of Cupid and Psyche is the marriage of love and soul. So after all, we all want our beloved one to be our soulmate. Not only the lover, but also our soulmate. And this is uh, pretty much from Greek mythology. But it happens in all the cultures as well. You don't want a person who is only your lover, but also as a good friend, as a soulmate. All right. But there are some people who don't love others, 
and and echo uh, because uh, once upon a time the souls want to play with another girl. So echo so he asked echo to to uh, to take the the attention of the attention of uh, her. And so so echo go go to go to chat with the Hera and and that's and then the souls can play with another girl. And Hera later Hera know the truth, so she is very angry. So she calls the echo that she only can reply to other people's word. And so so and then the one day the Narcissus um, go went went to the forest because the echo is the forest the goddess of forest and so the echo saw the Narcissus and she very like she very loved him and the Narcissus but every every word Narcissus says and echo only only echo can do is reply to his word. So Narcissus don't like she, don't like her. And so Echo was very sad and she become uh, she very sinner. She don't eat anything so so he, uh, he, she end up to be the echo. Yes. 
So that means that people who has fear, people who have fears about homosexual, right? But the right, duration of your homosexuality, homosexual people, right? Gays and lesbians. How about hydrophobia? Anybody? Hydrophobia. Raise your hand. What does that mean? Raise your hand because I would like to give you extra credit. Yes. Fear of water. Fear of water. All right, so this is a fear of water and mania. Again, I can't find any whatsoever. Well, this, these gods are not, obviously, are not very really like it. So nobody wants to create any artistic work about this god. Phobos and mania. So I can't find, I'm sorry, I cannot find any whatsoever to show you what mania is like. So it's a personification of madness. So we have egomania. What does that mean, egomania? You have a certain kind of obsessive preoccupation with the self. So how about paromania? What does para mean? What does para mean? Para, para, what does para mean? Come on, fire, very good. So paromania means you have kind of obsession about fire, means you have the desire to set up a fire. Okay? So this is a kind of an irres irresistible impulse to start fires. So let me ask you another question. Well, since pyro is fire, how about, how do you say an extreme fear of fire? Come on. How do you say an extreme fear of fire? Everybody, extreme fear of fire, yes? Pyrophobias. Pyrophobia. So this is, uh, you can actually put together the words. I just give you some example, okay? So uh, let's see, next one. What is that? What, what, what's the possible uh, name for this goddess? Well, that, that's the hygiene, but what is the, what is this goddess for? For, hello, for, yeah, I want, you are, you are, you are all doing very good, but how about those who sit in the back? How about those who sit in the back? The girl who sit uh, far, 
Mary Patachi for all that. So this is the cut. This is the goddess. Oh no, this is the god. <laughs> this is the god of reproductive and power and fertility. Right, Priapus. Priapus. Very good. The goddess is the chief god of sexuality. So Priapus, you power in the future. In many of her, you power have this problem of normal, often painful, persistent erection of penis. This is uh, from the God's name, Priapus. All right, so, but I want, uh, want you to read the story yourself because we can't really uh, read all the uh, descriptions. Sappho, he is very famous. That actually, there is a word that came from them, called Lesbians. Is it Lesbians? Yeah, Lesbians. Alright, because they used to live on the island of Lesbos. So Lesbian this is from the Lesbian so Alright, and Sufism. Alright, so if you want to look at uh, the family tree of Nix, Nix is uh, the god of night, then you will have uh, Hypnos, sleep, Jarius, old age, Thanatos, death. And then Morpheus is the son of the Hypnos. And here's, here you will have a lot of words originated from all this root. For example, Hypnos means sleep. Okay? And you will have Hypnosis, means a mental state that resembles sleep induced by a person whose suggestions are readily accepted by the subject. So training. All right. So we have a Phenomena, hypnagogic phenomena. Again, it's more like mental thing. You have the episodes of seeing and hearing things as one is falling asleep. It's all about sleep. And then here, we, are, we have a, probably you will know these gods better in the future because nowadays this branch of medicine is very popular, getting more popular, particularly in Taiwan. As Taiwan, is an aging society. So we have Jairus, god of old age. So what is the branch of medicine originated from this man? Everybody? Geriatric. Geriatric medicine. All right, geriatric medicine. All right, so this is the son of Jairus. And Morpheus, uh, Hypno, Hypnos, I'm sorry, the son of Hypnos. So Morpheus, which word is from Morpheus? Something to do with the sleep as well, something to do with the dream, sleep. Anybody? Come on. This world.
Oblivion in Greek. Oblivion means forgetfulness. So this one has something to do with forgetfulness. All right? So anybody would like to try the word stem from me? Come on.
guy. And then here we have the Trojan War started. Here we have all the great Greek heroes went to the Trojan War. And we have the one of the great great hero, the great Greek heroes got killed. Alright, this is Achilles who got a vulnerable spot on the hills because his mother wanted to become vulnerable, so dip him in the water in the river. I couldn't remember the name of the river. And then because she was holding his heels, so the heels were not dip in the water because you know the heads covered the heels. So that spot became vulnerable. So that's Achilles' heels. So when we talk about the heels, this is your Achilles' heels. Yes, this is your road. And then later, this is the part Achilles' head from the Greek hero. And then also later on, we have a very famous psychologist who turns some mythology, some tragedy, some whatsoever into uh, psychology terminology or psych psychiatry, in psychology terminology or psychiatry. So here we have Infus complex. Do you know Infus? Do I need to tell you the story about Infus? Yes? Infus killed the father, married the mother, married his mother. Have you ever heard about this story? It's a long story, but make a long story short. He killed his father accidentally and married the mother also accidentally, not intentionally. But for it to be lived, he, he, this kind of person must have a kind of desire, a normal desire for the for his mother. Pretty much it's to for you know sounds, some has in this complex. The whole story is like this. There was a prince, Oedipus, who was born, and then the mother, the king, and the prince asked Apollo's, um, Apollo's, Apollo's uh, oracle, 就是神律哈。那神律告诉他们说,这个小孩以后会kill the father, marry the mother. 如果你有这样的小孩,你会怎么样?杀了或者能把他丢到荒郊野外,even you don't want to kill them. 
Okay, so this is um, daughter of Agamemnon. 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 He is one of the great heroes who attacked, who joined the Trojan War, and they then all left home for ten years. But as a plus, Agamemnon, before they set out for Trojan War, he went to battle before, because he was able to get out of the way. That is also another goddess who is doing good, right? It is Athena. 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 So he was able to get out of the way. So he was able to get out of the way. So he was able to get out of the way. 太太可以卖卖出啊，一直没有让你们让他，所以当他十年后回来，他已经跟他的 cousin 在一起，那他们就把 a g a m e m n o 杀掉。你看，一个 hero， 一个伟大的 hero， 打仗打了十年回去，是被他的太太跟他太太的 lover kill。所以他的女儿 e l e t r a persuaded her brother to kill their mother and her lover。So because They cannot get revenge for the father, so that was say the complex of the electoral complex is that a normal feeling for the father. <coughs> so what is the relation between the Greek mythology and modern medicine? The leaders. This is one of the questions that I just asked you. This is the Greek god whose modern leader was tested one day after. Day after day, by those people, because he stole fire from Zeus for human being. Why Zeus was so angry? What's big deal about fire? What's big deal about fire? <coughs> fire plays what? Civilization. Think about it. We don't have fire. We don't have. We can't even civilization. Can we start? So actually, starting human civilization, so he was very angry. So he asked uh, his ego to sort of uh, to uh, to fight his liver, liver day after day. But the liver regenerated the following day. I mean, uh, the, the the ego faced his faced his liver. Today, the, the following day, the labor regenerated. So, there are countless lectures and articles about regenerative medicine here. Things begin with a reference to this leaf before turning into more scientific methods. We know that you will hear about the so-called gan zhang, gan dan, this one. At times, it will be told with you that this is not going to be possible. This is many in foreign countries. 都会讲到 Prometheus， and believe that Greek mythology they already have this concept the regenerative medicine because the liver is regenerative. So that's why they 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 said that Prometheus liver, not heart, no not other organs. So did the ancient Greeks know about the liver's amazing? Capacity for self repair. Yes. Maybe. We don't. Maybe there was a coincidence. They did not already know. So, there are some more things to learn. But we are going to continue this topic in UNTP level. That's next week. We're going to know a little bit more. I have um, actually a uh, Put all the things together so that will be easier for you to understand. So tell us this story as the end of this lecture. What happened? Who is this guy? Who is this person? This goddess? Hero. And, and who, who is this person? Who can get close to, to Hera? So, now this is also a child, right? Right, this is the astro miracle. Huh? Very good, calculus. 大力士哦，你看这个小孩子的大力士，大力士小时候，然后呢，他就是偷生的，他没有奶可以喝，他就跑来偷，他把他爸爸偷喝 hero, hero milk, right? 所以呢 ，what happened? 你你当然他不是光体在那抱来嘛 ，right? So then when hero was sleepy. 那因为他是大力士嘛，对不对？他从小力气就很大。So, Hercules bit Hera's nipple, and he was so painful. So 
pushing him away. 